this is Yoselin Rodriguez with Video Game Hour Live, currently at South by Southwest. I'm here with... Uh, my name is Matt. I'm a programmer on the Gardens Between. Cool. So can you just give us a brief summary of your game? Yeah, sure. So um, the Gardens Between is like a surreal puzzle adventure game. It follows the story of two best friends. They run away from home and fall into a strange world of garden islands. Uh, but the trick in the game is you don't control the characters at all. You just control time. So you move time backwards and forwards. Um, you can change the state of different things in the environment to solve puzzles. So talking about the mechanics of that, can you explain how can, that can get complicated farther into the game and into further levels? Yeah, so we try to do a lot of interesting things with uh, how you control time, but I guess the, the simplest explanation or the simplest mechanic we have is like you can go into the future and pick something up and carry it back into the past. Certain things you can turn on and off and they'll stay off or stay on, and then each level is to pick up the light and carry it to the end. Uh, yeah. So. Your, uh, your company has mostly played with handheld, yeah. right? Handheld games. So what's the difference between creating a handheld game and then a console-based game? Uh, I think it's, I mean, there's not too many differences. It's just console games are a lot bigger. Um, there's a lot more power, so you can make them, you know, a lot more beautiful and stuff like that. Um, we've been making games for about 10 years now. So um, yeah, this is our first like console title. So Switch, Steam, PS4, Xbox, it's pretty exciting. Cool. So the game's out now, correct? Yeah. How has the reception been for the game itself? Um, yeah, it's been really lovely. Like, I guess uh, we're here at South by Southwest, part of the Gamers Voice Awards. So, um, getting nominated for things like this, and uh, like we were named uh, like best Australian game last year, um, best game on the Mac App Store. Uh, yeah, like a bunch of really cool stuff like that. Like when Apple says your game is the best on the App Store, like that's pretty. Wow. <laughs> so why do you think that is then? Um, I don't know, I guess like when you spend four and a half years making a game, uh, you can kind of like see that and like the quality and the, the amount of polish that goes into it. Um, I think Apple especially, like our game's obviously quite beautiful, we spend a lot of time just, like, yeah, when you spend four and a half years on a game, the artist can just like make stuff prettier and prettier. You spend four and a half years making rocks pretty, like you get pretty, pretty good looking rocks. Um, I guess it all like plays into it. The game is beautiful. It's what attracted us, or me, to the first place to play it. So I was talking to Simon earlier, and he was explaining how childhood memories are incorporated into the game. And I wanted to ask why y'all thought it was like very important to include that, to include the message that childhood friends and memories are very important, even for your later years. Yeah, I guess there's a couple of things that came into that. Um, I guess we wanted to tell a story about friendships. Um, and I don't think there's a time in your life where friendships were as important to you as when you were a kid. Like, you know, your kid, your best friend was like the most important thing in the world to you. Um, so yeah, that was kind of, when we were thinking about friendships, we just wanted to tell a game about like childhood friendships, because that's when they're, you know, so big and human important. Um, and the whole like memory idea came from uh, the movie Minority Report, when Tom Cruise is like looking into the precogs memories and like moving backwards and forwards looking for clues. Um, yeah, and the like, two ideas kind of just like fit together really nicely and ended up making the gardens between. Can you tell us real quick what consoles these games are out? Yeah, um, uh, already. So the game's out on uh, Switch. So everyone here is playing it on Switch, but it's also on Xbox, um, PlayStation 4, Steam, PC, Mac, Linux. All those things, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No worries, thank um, you. That's all I have for you. So thank you very much for your time and your patience with us. Um, and that's been that's it. Go back to the show.